Hello friends! Today you'll see how 80's most popular music stars have changed. Some of them grew old very much, while others looks like they are using a youth serum. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Cher first sang her solo single Ring I Love You in 1964, but only in 1965 she gained success with the song I Got You Babe. Her singles were in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100 for several decades, and Cher was called the goddess in pop music. Madonna made her debut in the early 80s with the song Everybody, which is the start of a success that continues till present day. Her music doesn't stand still, and she is constantly being improved. She is the owner of seven Grammy Awards and two Golden Globes. Lionel Richie was one of the top performers in the pop genre in the first half of the 80s. He was the first to receive the Rhea Diamond album and was also awarded four Grammy Awards. His most popular songs were Hello, Dancing in the City and Say You, Say Me. John Bon Jovi in the 80s created the band named Bon Jovi, which raised him to the fame and several songs from the album Slipper and Wet entered the top 10 charts and didn't give up their positions for a long time, recipient of the American Music Awards. Phil Collins truly gained worldwide fame after joining Genesis as a drummer and subsequently a vocalist. He has received the Academy Award for Best Composition for the animated film Tarzan, as well as a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Bonnie Tyler's career as a professional singer began in 1975, but she became a world-class star with the release of Total Eclipse of the Heart. Also, her single Lost in France was especially popular. She is the owner of Grammy nominations as well as Breathe Awards. Ozzy Osbourne was the co-founder and member of the band Black Sabbath, thanks to which such musical directions as heavy metal and hard rock were largely born. Has his own star in Birmingham as well as in Hollywood on the Walk of Fame and is also a Grammy Award winner. Elton John made a significant contribution to the musical development of such a style as light rock. His music is in demand to this day, and this began with the creation of the group The Corvettes. He was awarded an Oscar and the title of Sir of the British Empire. Annie Lennox began her musical career with the creation of the group The Tourists, but was able to gain popularity only as a part of the Eurythmics. Annie burst the charts with the band with the song Sweet Dreams. She has received four Grammy Awards as well as an Oscar. Julio Iglesias has performed over 5,000 concerts, making him a worldwide fame. The start of his career began with winning a song contest with the song La Vida Sigue Igual. His discs were released in 14 languages, for which Julio was awarded a diamond album. Since childhood, Sandra was interested in music and in 1976 she released the single Andy Meinfront, but she gained world fame only after joining the group Arabesque. In 1984 she began her solo career as Sandra. Sting has been the vocalist of The Police since 1976, which made him recognizable in his country, but he gained worldwide fame with the beginning of his solo career in 1984. He is the owner of 17 Grammy Awards and is considered a world legend of the rock scene. Cindy Lauper performed as a cover singer in the 70s, but already in 83rd year she released her own album called She's So Unusual, which brought her a worldwide fame. In rock and roll, as a woman, she created a real revolution, and she was often compared to Madonna. Paul Weller led his first concert at the age of 14, and in 1979 he joined The Jam, participation in which brought him popularity and for which he is still known. In the 90s, Paul was equally successful in performing solo. Joan Jett is a bright and unusual rock singer. 
she formed the guitar group The Runaways, where she played rhythm guitar and which enjoyed huge success in Japan. The song I Love Rock and Roll brought Jet and her band The Black Hearts wide fame and first place on the Billboard Hot 100. Autumn's career began in the 70s as a bass player with Bazooka Joe. In the 1977, he created his own group, Adam and the Ons, with which he gained popularity as a performer of the New Wave. He won the first Brit Award and was recognized as the sex symbol of the 80s. Iron Tara in the early 80s released several songs, What a Feeling and Flashdance which took her to the top of popularity and made Irene a favorite of the listeners. For the performance of compositions, she was awarded an Oscar, as well as a Golden Globe. Alice Cooper is one of the few hard rock performers to hold the honorary title of King of Rock. He became the founder of a new direction of music, Shock Rock, and established himself as a bright artist who was the first to create unusual and even shocking performances. Brian Adams entered the world of music without even graduating from high school. His song, Straight From The Heart, brought him some popularity, but he gained real fame after the release of the track Heaven, which took the lead position on the Billboard Hot 100. Kate Bush started his career in 1975 as a schoolgirl. The song Wuthering Heights, released in the late 70s, made her famous all over the world, and the composition itself was in the first places in many charts. She has a special style combined with electronic. Eric Clapton has earned a certain amount of credibility as a rock artist and is a respected singer. Eric's unique guitar playing made him famous. He was included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame three times, and no musician has ever been able to repeat such achievements. Bill Idol is famous as an unusual punk artist who has become a legend in world rock music. He became famous as a member of the Generation X group, but in 1981 began a rather successful solo career. He is the creator of such a popular hits as Dancing With Myself and Rebel Yell. Kim Wilde burst into the top of the charts in 1981 with the song Kids in America, for which she is still recognizable today. Among British performers in the 80s, she set the record for the longest stay of her tracks in the charts. Howard Jones performs synth pop music and has a special vision in his direction and the lyrics of his songs are not devoid of meaning. The songs he released in the mid-80s, some of which are New Song and What Is Love, regularly took good positions in the charts. Grace Jones is an eccentric contralto. The performance of the song Libertango brought her worldwide popularity, and the release of her album Night Clubbing was a testament to the birth of a new direction in music. Her songs, as well as her looks, made her unique. The debut of Billy Ocean took place in the mid-70s with the release of the album of the same name. His songs were quite progressive and mostly danceable. The composition Ocean gave him a Grammy, and in 1987, Billy Ocean was nominated for the Breed Awards. Bruce Springsteen released the album Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey in 1973, which became his debut. He is the leader of the E Street Band and is known for performing poetic rock songs. For his work, he was awarded Golden Globe, Oscar and Grammy Awards. Paul Young became a more serious career in street band and their composition Toast entered the top 20. In the early 80s, he began performing as a solo artist and after the release of the song Every Time You Go Away, he gained considerable fame. Michael Jackson received his own star on the Walk of Fame for his invaluable contribution to musical culture and was awarded 15 Grammy Awards. It was he who created Moonwalk, and his unique choreography became a subject of the study of scientists. 
At the end of the 1960s, Peter Gabriel founded the rock band Genesis, with which his serious musical career and world fame began. He's a creative performer, not devoid of ambition, and one of his famous songs was Biko, 1980. He was nominated for an Oscar and has a Grammy. Dr. Alban gained particular popularity in the 90s, and the album Hello Africa became his debut album. He's a performer of incendiary dance tracks, and the hit It's My Life became his trademark, and after which Alban came to resounding success and recognition. Rod Stewart received a star on the Walk of Fame and is ranked 33rd among Q Magazine's 100 Greatest Artists. He has an unusual chorus voice that made him popular in the late 60s and early 70s. For his achievements in music and charity, he was awarded a knighthood. Samantha Fox began her career as a teenager and at the age of 15 released her first album from Lamborghini Records. In the 80s, she became a popular disco singer with sexy vocals and, despite negative reviews from critics, she gained worldwide popularity. Stevie Wonder is an incredibly talented blind performer, thanks to whom he managed to significantly develop and popularize rhythm and blues, soul, funk and even rap. I Just Call To Say I Love You is one of his most popular songs, has over 20 Grammy Awards. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.